بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة the niya, the intention of the servant is the way in which they will receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if the intention in an act of worship is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you'll receive his pleasure and the reward for that action but if the action is to please someone else or to show off then that will be the person's reward. They will not gain the, the benefit of that action, that act of worship. Ayu al-Habba. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Okay. Inna ma'amalu bin niyat wa inna malikul limriyan manawa فَمَنْ كَانَتْ حِجْتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ فَحِجْتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَمَنْ كَانَتْ حِجْتُهُ لِلدُّنْيَا يُسِيبَهَا أَوْ إِمْرَأَةٍ يَنْكِحُهَا فَحِجْتُهُ إِلَى مَا هَجَرَ إِلَيْهِ رواه الشيخان In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, uh, in Bukhari and Muslim, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily actions are tied to the intentions, and everyone shall get for that which he intended. Therefore he who migrates for Allah and his Messenger, has migrated for Allah and His Messenger. And he who migrates to gain some worldly gain or to take some woman in marriage will get that for which he migrated for. Ayyul Habba, this illustrates what we were just discussing, which is that our intention is what is going to determine the reward of our deed and our actions. So, for example, if a person uses, if a person uh, performs the prayer, the salat, in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah in the way the Prophet وسلم, performed prayer, and they have their intention, though, for the pleasure of the people, to show off for the people, then that's what they will get. They will actually get a sin and perhaps could fall into shirk, the major shirk. And if their intention, the same action, in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they did it to please Allah, with sincerity, as an act of worship, then they will be rewarded. And this shows us how the same action, when put on the scale of the intention, is going to term, determine its outcome. So, therefore, the person who prays to please Allah, in accordance with the sunnah, then they will receive the reward of Salat, the ajr that comes with praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfilling His commandments. And the person who does this same action, but their intention is to perform uh, exercise or yoga, for example, and they do the same postures that we perform during the Salat, in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, then their reward will only be those exercises. But they will not receive the reward of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the intention, because they intended not to worship Allah, but they intended something else. Ayyu al habba, the, in the intention is something we have to pay particular attention to in all of our deeds in Islam. And be very cautious, because your intentions can either, they can help you get to Jannah, or they can lead you to the hellfire. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from all those things which displease Him and bless us with al nafia wa rizqan tayyibah wa amal muttaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.